the Illinois State Board of Education has launched an unprecedented inquiry into special education practices at Chicago public schools, which have met with fierce criticism since a 2016 overhaul. The inquiry will address the central question of whether there is a policy environment in CPS preventing students from being served, state school superintendent Tony Smith said in a statement issued Friday. The goal is not to reach a resolution but to come to a true and trustworthy understanding of how special education services are being delivered in the district, Smith said. ISBE's general counsel will assemble a special education legal expert and an advocate to examine systemic issues, collect evidence and hold public hearings then present findings to the state board by April, ISBE said in a press release that noted the probe is the first of its kind. The examination of how CPS policy has affected some of its most vulnerable students presents an immediate challenge to CEO Janice Jackson, who takes over as the district's interim CEO January 1 following the resignation of Forrest Claypool. Claypool quit last week after the district's inspector general accused him of orchestrating a full-blown cover-up to ward off an unrelated ethics probe. CPS last year laid out plans to overhaul its special education programs, citing persistently low test scores for disabled students, insufficient oversight and a lack of consistent standards despite growing budget costs. The district's new approach included efforts to collect standardized data about students with disabilities and a revised procedural manual meant to set guidelines for schools to use when providing special education services. Many of the district's changes, however, were quickly opposed by parents and community groups. A WBEZ FM 91.5 examination of CPS special education spending and practices this year spurred additional protests, even as CPS pushed back against some of the station's conclusions. Advocates and community groups, including the Chicago Teachers Union, Shriver Center on Poverty Law, the Ounce of Prevention Fund and Access Living Disability Rights Group presented their concerns to ISBE last month. The district's changes, they said, have delayed and denied needed services to special education students. We believe the situation may be so egregious that ISBE may be required following an investigation to appoint an outside expert to facilitate corrective action in relationship to the CPS special education program the group said in a November letter to the state board. It should be expected that these recommendations may and most likely will include significant changes in CPS special education practices. CPS, in its own letter to ISBE last month, said it would welcome this conversation. We are hopeful that this ISBE working group will focus on what we have fixed so far, what remains to be addressed, and how our approach can be adjusted to best serve our most vulnerable students, Claypool, Jackson and special education head Elizabeth Keenan wrote in a November 22 letter.